Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Welcome to The Advocate. The advocates are all set to gang up against those stubborn issues that concern us all. I'll be asking the question that has probably passed through a lot of our minds in recent times. In whose interest are our senators pursuing certain, apparently unproductive bills? Laboris is specific about his advocacy. He's taking on the Aguerus at Uyo Airport and those that enable them. I hope they are listening. Emeka tackles current coronavirus and the matter of our preparedness, or should we say unpreparedness? I say someone had to. Chuka is interested in the more sensitive issues of empathy and how we respond to victims of disaster. Interestingly, Chuka's advocacy is probably related to Emeka's. Ekene is looking ahead to the next level of governance and makes a call for the real governors to please stand up. Make no mistake, although we are seated, we are all committed to standing up for what we believe. I'll be the first to step out after the break. One sure measure of public service is that it is done in the people's best interest. So I'll be asking, in whose interest? Just over a week ago, the generator ban bill, as it is popularly referred to, sponsored by Senator Bima Mohamedou Inagi, which seeks to ban the importation and use of generating sets to curb the menace of environmental pollution and facilitate development of the power sector, was introduced before the Senate. The bill proposes that any person who imports generating sets or knowingly sells generating sets shall be guilty of an offence and be liable on conviction to be sentenced to imprisonment for a term not less than 10 years. This doesn't apply to the importation or sale of any generating set to be used for essential services. Now, I like what the bill is trying to achieve, Pollution, both air and noise, due to the necessary use of these sets, is apparent for all. But, and there is a big but. If the bill eventually becomes law, it is highly conceivable that it will lead to an economy collapse, as the vast majority of electricity consumers in this country, especially manufacturers, rely heavily on alternative power sources due to the insufficient grid supply. What are we to do if we're not an essential service? Are we expected to go back to the dark ages using candles and dying of heat and mosquito bites? How are we to preserve our food? How about people in high-rise apartments that use lifts? It may come as a surprise to our senators, but Nigerians don't desire to use generators. It's simply an expensive, necessary evil. Why can't we first ensure that power is available before initiating a ban? Why do we always do things backwards? Our leaders fail us and we bear the painful consequences. It really is basic economics. When electricity becomes constant, then the need to import or use generators will diminish and such a bill will be unnecessary. This proposed bill and others, such as the anti-social media bill and the hate speech bill, only serve to encroach further on our freedom of choice and expression and increase hardship and suffering. It just makes you wonder in whose interest these elected officials are working for, ours or theirs. Well, this reminds me of that famous um, song by Femi Kuti. 
thing is bang, bang, bang. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we have this, and I, and I see this, in the, especially in this, in the last five years, <laughs> you know, everything is treated as the first thing to do is to ban. Mm. You know, there's very often there's very little consideration for um, the impact assessment. What does it mean? What will happen? How will it happen? Even how do you enforce a ban? Mm. People don't often think about it. It's just like the first thing, oh, let's ban it. I think it's just, you know, throw back from very military, military kind yeah. of thing. Um, it's just, it, this doesn't make sense. You know, as you said, it just doesn't make sense mm. because I, 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 can, I can probably bet money that the day they were considering this bill, the, the <laughs> National Assembly was being run on the Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, so how do you consider? And then it creates loopholes, and I think this is the thing for all kinds of, for the law enforcement, for the people who are going to enforce it to start, you know, so you have to apply to become an essential service. So money You see, sorry, um, I think the senator was just joking. You know, <laughs> joke to have yes. a bill. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Um, you know, well. just create something that would put you in the news. Right. Yeah. Because in Niger State, you have three senators in Niger. The first one is proposing hate speech bill. Mm -hmm. The other yeah. one is uh, proposing a bill to rehabilitate Boko Haram. Yeah. The third one is proposing a bill to ban, ban generator. Mm. For so yes, uh, just mm. compete for notoriety in the public space. Because, mm. like you said, on the day the bill was being debated, the National Assembly was being run on generator. Mm -hmm. This a colleague of his told us, and and so to them it was like maybe this man is joking, mm. and, and and so um, basically he knows that it's a practical impossibility. Mm. So let's just discuss something. What all these are distractions? Instead of us to be discussing the president's resigning as things are not mm. working. You know, create distractions. Give them something to talk well, okay, about. Okay, let's even I'm, say, I'm because, you, so, so. you know, when you were, I felt you gave them too much credit by saying you like what the bill is trying to achieve. Well, pollution, air pollution. As though they know. had thought to achieve anything. <laughs> it, it's senseless because, you know, even if a child pollution, knows. A very, a very simple thing would be to ban plastic bags. Mm. Yeah, that's Like one. other countries, mm -hmm. the poorer countries are doing in, uh, across Africa. Mm. Um, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania. You but, know. but there's such an uproar against this bill that it doesn't take anyone to see that this bill was a non-starter. Mm. So I'm now going to say, what is the penalty for putting forward frivolous bills? Mm. You're wasting public time, mm. public money. How do we deal with yeah, people who put forward? Because yeah. even the social media bill, someone I know attended yeah. the social media public yeah, hearing, mm. and he said, it Everybody threw it out. Yeah. So why did you waste our time yeah, going through first hearing, second hearing? So there must be a penalty for putting forward because we need to stop this in fact, nonsense. In fact, at the in forum, at the public forum organized by a TV station a couple of weeks back, someone in, in the audience during the Q&A had said that he's going to um, take the guy to court and exactly. insist that the money he spent wasting people's taxpayer money yeah. to put this frivolous bill mm, that yeah. you should refund it or yeah. go to court. Exactly. Yeah. And I think and there, should be, right. there should be the, there should that consideration for penalties yeah. and having such. Stop but, wasting I mean, our time. But they have parliamentary yeah. privilege. That's the honest But truth. I mean, I do. Yeah. I agree with that. We should definitely penalize these people no, for their frivolous bills. Par but the only privilege. thing I so do they worry is that... Yeah. People feel agitated at the yeah. thoughts that they may yeah. soon be in darkness. The thought that they have to now apply Creating to panic. one very yeah, bottleneck status. It's to vote him out. He's got privilege, so he can say anything. But the only fear is that you don't know. I mean, I do agree that this is frivolous, but Nigeria, we sometimes are a bit crazy. I mean, they're talking about rehabilitating Booker, and I really believe that one may pass. Wow. Um, so where, where do we so? get to say something? How do we influence uh, uh, the, these? The, these, um, these bills, sometimes, they want us to discuss it. Oh, really? Like I said, they want us to discuss it. So using us as a thing. Ordinarily, it is, like I said, it is a practical impossibility to ban generator because even the man, while he was drafting that bill, they were using generator to draft the bill. No, but they are exempting themselves. Yeah. They will be able to apply. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's the poor yeah. man that no, will be that's suffering. that's what I'm saying, that that bill was meant as a distraction. Do you know why? Here, all of them run their houses on generator. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, apart from the fact that they run on generator, our power, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, power national, provider grid, yeah. services now are alternative power supply. The generator is the main power so, supply uh, in Nigeria. But we know that, so why? And so these are alternative. Mm -hmm. And so if you are now saying ban the main, when the alternative it, yeah. is not even there, it makes, meant it to be a distraction. Sense. Chuka yeah. has been quiet. We have, yes, we have so. a minute or so to go on yes, this, on this yes. topic, but you've just been no, quiet. I'm, 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 I'm soaking up, uh, <laughs> I've been soaking up what you guys have been saying. Um, I'm, I'm just sad that 
we have morons in the in, in, in National Assembly. <laughs> now he speaks. <laughs> because that really is what anybody who can come up with this sort of bill mm. is. So I direct that th those words at that man, uh, whatever his name. I, yeah, I can't even pronounce yes. the name. Um, it, 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 it is very sad. It's very, very sad. If so, it's but a we joke, need to be able to if send that message joke, to no, If it's a joke that he's joking, as liberals say. It's an expensive joke. It's a, it's, a, it's a terrible joke. And if he's serious, then there's something wrong with him. Yeah. And if he collected bribe to do it, then that's There's yet There's something wrong with the level. people behind the scenes. Then we are, we are really rotten. Mm. Mm. Well, there you go. Since, by virtue of their job description, they are there to serve us, we ought to speak out as to what is in our best interest. Liboris is certainly vocal on his topic after the break. <laughs> 